Welcome to my YouTube channel La Fisica Che Ci Piace, where learning physics and mathematics is amazing. Today we are gonna learn about physical quantities. So, first of all, let's talk about what is a physical quantity. It's a physical property of a phenomenon, body or substance that can be quantified by misurement. A physical quantity can be expressed as a combination of a magnitude expressed by a number and a unit. Let's make an example. If you talk about length, you can write L equal to 10 meters. So L is a physical quantity. 10 is a magnitude, the real number. Meters is a unit. Actually, there are a lot of quantities, but you can put the all quantities in two groups the base quantities and the derived quantities. Let's talk about the base quantities. There are seven base quantities. In 1889, a group of scientists settled these seven base quantities. They chose the seven base quantities by convention. Let's talk about the seven base quantities. The first of them is the length. The symbol is L. The unit is a meter. And the symbol of the unit is M. I just made an example of length before. L equal to 10 meters. Let's move to the second one. It is the mass. The symbol of the quantity is M, the unit is kilogram, and the symbol of the unit is kg. Let's make an example. I have a mass of 70 kilograms. You can write M equal to 70 kilograms. Let's move to the third quantity. It's the time. The symbol of the quantity is T, the unit is second. And the symbol of the unit, of course, is S. Let's make an example. I walked down the street for 10 seconds. Okay, the fourth. It is the electric current. The symbol is I. The unit is ampere. And so the symbol of the unit is A. Let's make an example. Yesterday, I did a measurement of the current. I found 0.01 ampere. The fifth quantity is temperature. The symbol is T. The unit is Kelvin. And the symbol, of course, is K. So, I can say that in my room there are 293 Kelvin. Let's go to the sixth quantity. Amount of substance. The symbol is N. The unit and the unit symbol is mole. So, for example, we have 2.3 mole of hydrogen. The last quantity is luminous intensity. The symbol is I. We found I for intensity current as well. So we can use the small I for intensity current and the big I for luminous intensity. The unit is candela and the symbol of the unit is CD. So, for example, a compact fluorescent light bulb could have a luminous intensity of 135 candela. How about the derived quantities? Do you know derived quantities? So, look around you. Try to find a quantity, maybe a derived quantity. Share a comment below, writing the quantity that you found. 
See you next time. Bye.